Do you remember this? Well, this one's got a little bit of glass on the bottom because the glass on my Da Vinci has been slowly chipping away and it's getting worse. So I'm going to have to do something about that in the future. Well, the future has arrived. It's time to fix this thing. In fact, I already did and it worked out great. I got the idea from a subscriber, Dr. Buddha, who commented on that previous video. He said you can take out the glass, remove the heat element, flip the glass over so the chip is down, and then put it back together. He was exactly right. I'm going to show you how I did it on today's video. So the first thing you need to do is remove the four screws that hold everything down. There's one at each corner, and they hold a metal bracket that keeps the glass in place. So after you remove the four screws, just lift the brackets right out of their slots, and then you're ready to remove the glass. Now if you just pry from the front with a screwdriver, you should be able to lift it right out, and then flip it over so you can get to the heat element underneath. From there, I started with a, a razor blade to just kind of get the corner, but that's dangerous because you can cut the traces. So then I went back and used a plastic putty knife. But before long, I just decided to start pulling with my fingers, and this worked for quite a while, but it was hard on the fingers. So Dr. Buddha, the commenter who suggested this in the first place, he said use acetone, and man was he right. I went and got my bottle of acetone, which is just nail polish remover, got a brush, and I just brushed it as I pulled, and this thing came right off. It was so much easier. And there was the glass with the old glue, and so I just flipped over the heater element, and then went to work on the glass. So I took the piece of glass over to my bench, soaked it down with acetone, I mean every square inch, and let it soak in. And then I used the window scraper and it just scraped the glue right off. It was easy. So then I used Windex window cleaner to clean the glass further and I had my glass. Clean on top, chipped on the bottom. So I went back to the DaVinci 1.0 and I laid out the heat element as flat as I could. And then I put the glass in place making sure that the chip side was down and the good side was up. The glass pretty much laid everything flat. It didn't look as pretty but it, it held it all in place. Then I just put the metal brackets on in their slots, and that held them until I could shoot the four screws, tighten the four screws up, and this thing was ready to go. So I decided to test just a simple XYZ keychain, one of the sample prints, to see if this thing will heat up fine in print. So I ran that, and I could see it clearly was heating up properly. So here's the time lapse of it being built. Now in the process of doing this, I forgot to put glue down on the bed. So this is a real test, and look at this. It printed perfectly, no warping, no sliding around, and the bottom is glass smooth. So that's it. This thing has been printing great ever since. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. And if you want to see more videos like this, please consider donating a dollar to my Patreon account at the link up here. That's all for now. I'll see you on Filament Friday.